there we were in this video i will teach you people how to transform data in r so first of all we need to know why we transform data many statistical tests make the assumption that residuals of or responsible variables are common distributed however often residuals are not commonly distributed one way to address this issue is to transform the responsible variable using three transformations number one log transformation number two square root transformation and number three cube transformation and after this transformation the results are the data will become closer to normally distributed so let me teach you how to do this let's go to r in r we have created this data frame this is our data so we will first create the log of this our y variable so this is log first of all we will create the original uh, data histogram then we will uh, make the log histogram then we will see the difference what is the difference between log and original this is original you can see here there is totally unequal distribution this is so higher and here is so lower so here now we can create this log histogram of this log so now you can see it is almost equally distributed now we can perform shapiro test of original data here we can see the p value so this is shows that the data is significantly different from each another mean it is not distributed equally this is difference now we will perform the Shapiro test for log here you can see it is not 0 0.05 it is more than 0 0.05 so it means that data is not significantly different so it is equally distributed so these things we can also do like square root sqrt this y and square root our data dollar sign y this is square root and now the histogram of original that will be same and now the histogram of square root so now you can see it is almost equally distributed And now we can the cube we can cubes uh, cube now this um, histogram of original and now we can make histogram of the cube now you can see the data is almost equally distributed so this was about data transformation dear viewer if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel and you will learn many interesting statistical analysis in r